Hello everyone, welcome to another video and we are at day 6 and today I have something for you that is very very interesting, very very important and this is about the differences between Bohr effect and Haldane effect. This is a question from biochemistry or you can say this is a question from human physiology. Both the way it will work. Now what is it? We are going to see that now. So let's start with this Bohr effect then we'll go to the Haldane effect. In Bohr effect what is the description? Influence of pH on hemoglobin's affinity for oxygen. It means how exactly uh, pH or change in pH causes the hemoglobin to either bind to the oxygen or release the oxygen. While the pH dependency obviously if the pH decreases that means in the acidic conditions it enhances the oxygen release. Try to understand this. So in the acidic environment hemoglobin tend to release oxygen more. Oxygen dependency it is independent of oxygen level. That means Bohr effect does not depend on oxygen concentration. It depends on the pH or acidity of the environment. Then comes carbon dioxide dependency. Bohr effect is also independent of the carbon dioxide concentration. Then comes regulation. Bohr effect is affected by changes in the pH level only. So it's basically the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen in presence of acidity or basic environment. If the acidic environment is present, then hemoglobin will release oxygen and if basic environment is present, hemoglobin will stick to the oxygen. Now let's move to the Haldane effect. In Haldane effect, influence of oxygen on the binding of influence of oxygen on the binding of carbon dioxide to uh, the hemoglobin. So basically influence of oxygen on uh, hemoglobin's binding to affinity to carbon dioxide or oxygen you can say. pH dependency Haldane effect is independent of pH. Oxygen dependency, oxygen concentration or oxygenation of hemoglobin decreases with carbon dioxide binding. So the more carbon dioxide is present in the environment, it will bind to the hemoglobin and the chance of hemoglobin binding to oxygen will decrease. So basically, if oxygen and carbon dioxide both are present in the environment, hemoglobin will fight to bind with either oxygen or carbon dioxide. But it has more affinity to bind to carbon dioxide than oxygen, right? So if there is high concentration of CO2, then hemoglobin will tell, tend to bind to CO2, not oxygen. Carbon dioxide dependency, deoxygenation of hemoglobin increases upon carbon dioxide binding. So whenever there is carbon dioxide binding, obviously the hemoglobin will lose all the oxygen that is associated to it. And why it is important? Because in our lungs, try to understand the situation, in our lungs what happens? In our lungs, we are getting a lot of oxygen coming in. So in the lungs, the oxygen will stick to uh, our all the hemoglobin and CO2 is released because in the lungs, there will be less CO2, right? So the CO2 will be released, the oxygen will bind to hemoglobin. But in the rest of the body, in the other cells of the body, in the somatic tissues of the body, there are more carbon dioxide produced. So automatically, the oxygen will not stick to it. Carbon dioxide will be sticking to hemoglobin and hemoglobin will carry carbon dioxide from different parts of the cell to lungs again and to exchange it. And last is regulation affected by changes in oxygen levels in the body. It's very important. Somatic cells have less oxygen level and lung cells have more oxygen level. So that is the simple idea about Haldane effect and Bohr effect. Bohr effect only depend on pH while Haldane effect depends on oxygen concentration. That's the primary difference. All right. So watch this whole series of mind map and it's our journey of 365 days. One mind map every single day for a year. And I bet you that you're going to come up as a better source of knowledge for the field of biological sciences after this one year of study. So continue with this series because it's going to provide you benefit for CSIR net, get LS, get biotechnology, ICMR, JRF, uh, the Q8 PG, a BHU JNU examination and all the other institutional PhD entrance examination as well. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. All the very best for future career.